Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today we're talking about the iPhone's home screen. As you know, iOS and iPhones have a lot of hidden tricks and hidden features that a lot of users don't actually know. So in today's video, we're talking about the home screen and I will show you guys 12 tricks that I believe every iPhone user must know on their device and the home screen of their device they will of course be really cool and will help you do a lot more and make your life easier while using your iphone on ios 17. now first of all let's just let me just show you guys some really cool shortcuts that you can use on the home screen of your device here is one whenever you're on the home screen you will have your maps app right there if you didn't remove it by default it should be on the first page of your iphone now what you can do here let's say you're parked somewhere or you're just at some place where you want to save your location all you have to do is just 3d touch on that icon right there and you can see the first button says mark my location this allows you to mark the location on the maps app whenever you want to mark something you want to save that location you can do that quickly directly from the home screen without even needing to open the maps app now another pretty cool thing that you can do from here is quickly share your location again just 3d touch on the maps icon right there the second button will be send location you tap right there and you will be able to now send your location you can see how easy that is of course currently i have my location services turned off but if you have them turned on it allows you to actually quickly send the location to anyone you want now here's another one this one is for safari you know that when you open safari it's actually quite a lot of work to open a private tab it's really complicated but you can do that on a very very easy way all you have to do from your home screen is 3d touch on the safari icon and you will have here a new tab but you also have a new private tab you tap right there there you go you're directly on the search bar right there you're on a private tab and you can quickly start searching anything you need now here's another one that i think every iphone user must know if you don't know this it will be actually very very useful so you're on the home screen and you want to open one of the apps that you have on the app switcher so all you have to do is swipe up of course you will have your apps here but there is a much easier way and a much faster way to actually open the last app and also move to other apps all you have to do is just swipe here so right there at the bottom just underneath the dock just swipe like that and it takes you right back to the last app not just that you can swipe again and move to the other apps just like this as you can see you can move between like different apps that you have opened on the app switcher you can go backwards and forwards as well it's pretty simple and again just swipe up to go to the home screen swipe back here it takes you right back into the app now here's one of the coolest things that you need to know on ios 17 when it comes to moving apps on the home screen so you want to move an app or multiple apps the easiest way to do this is simply by tapping and dragging the app don't drag it here but now once you have your app at your fingertip just use the other one to actually move here between different pages or the app library so simply like that just move around and you can just place the app anywhere you want so you'll have the ability to quickly move between pages here without having to drag your apps at the corner of the screen of your iphone and for people who have a device with the dynamic island this is a trick that you must know so you know that whenever you're playing something or you have something on the background that uses the dynamic island it will be displayed just like that on the dynamic island but let's say i have some music or something playing there and i just want to hide it i don't want to have it shown on the home screen or anywhere else on my device all you have to do is just swipe from the right to the left like that and as simple as that you can hide that from the dynamic island and you can see if i tap and hold there it won't expand at all now if you want to bring that back just do the other way around from the left to the right just like that and there you have it now of course you can tap on it and it will expand and you will have the controls there so swipe from right to left to hide it to bring it back from left to the right and now let's move on to the spotlight search so whenever you're on the home screen of your device and you go to the spotlight search you will see some suggestions here by siri for different apps and of course any link that you might have copied or something like that or if you even just search for an app and it shows right here and you want to add it to your home screen you can actually do that on ios 17. so if i want to add google maps all i have to do is just drag it 
right there from the spotlight search now i can have it on my home screen it's as easy as that to add any app from the spotlight search to the home screen another thing for the spotlight search whenever you're searching for anything an app or anything else you don't actually need to reach for that icon so if i search for this app right here i don't have from here to, to basically tap right there on the app because whenever you search something you can see the button right here says go and you tap right there and just opens the result that you just got on the spotlight search so whatever that is maybe a file or anything else an app anything else you search on the spotlight search you will be able to open it directly from the keyboard spotlight search of your device you can basically do the same on the app library as well so if i search for something an app of course it will allow it to open the first result directly from the go button right here on the keyboard so i just searched just typed an S there, chose the apps here, the results, and the first one can be opened simply by tapping the go button on your keyboard. Now, when you go to the app library of your device and you go to search right there, if you don't want to search, but you want to go straight like to an app here, we'll have different letters right there. So I can tap on a letter actually, and it will take me right to the apps that start with that letter. Or I can swipe like this here if I want to quickly move on the list of the apps. So just drag the finger, and as you can see, it allows us to quickly move between the list of the apps that you have on your app library. Next up, I will show you guys how to have hidden widgets on the home screen of your device. So you basically have the widget there, but it's hidden and you can reveal it at any time you want. The way to do that is actually not that complicated. You install this app right here, which I will leave linked right down below in the description of the video. Once you have done that, in this case, I have this small widget here. I want to hide it. Here's how you do it. Go to the edit mode here on the home screen and just swipe here where there are no icons. Take a screenshot here. Now you're good to go you open the app and all you have to do here is tap on these two buttons and load the screenshot you just took now once you have loaded the screenshot now all you have to do is go ahead and add the widget from this app to the home screen in this case i have a small widget i want to hide so i add a small widget there we have it small blank we go ahead and add the widget here but now what we need to do is place it above the widget that we want to hide so you can see just like that so it creates a stack but you can see it's not on the position it should be so we tap and hold there tap on edit here the first button and then choose the position so it's mid and it's on the right side just like that and you can see now it's completely hidden we just have a clear space right there but when i swipe like this i can reveal my widget again swipe up it does hide the widget and last but not least, I will show you guys how to hide the dock on the home screen of your iPhone for any wallpaper that you want to use. You can use this app called Dockland. Of course, it will be linked right down below in the description of the video. So you open the app, you tap this one right here, the first one, and load the wallpaper that you want to use. So once you have loaded the wallpaper, you tap on use right here. And now you can just go ahead and save this wallpaper to your device. And once the wallpaper is saved, it will look like this. Of course, all you have to do now is go ahead and set it as a home screen wallpaper. Now you can do that, of course, from the settings app. You go to wallpaper, you tap on customize here for the home screen and just load that wallpaper. So there we have it. Now we tap the dumb button and we should have that pretty cool looking wallpaper on the home screen and the dock is hidden. You can see how much nicer and cleaner that looks. So that's basically it for this video, guys. These are... 10 iPhone home screen tricks that I believe every iPhone user must know. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did. Of course, subscribe for more and I'll see you on the next one.